Good afternoon. Whilst County slipped to their first league defeat of the year on Friday, there was no huge damage done to County's title ambitions as none of the top four managed to pick up a win. But Friday's defeat at Grimsby has had consequences as Anthony Sarsevich's red card means he starts a three-match ban today for the visit of promotion hopefuls Solly Holmores. His place in midfield goes to Andy Cannon. One other change, a welcome return from injury for Ryan Rydell, who starts this afternoon. He comes in for Miles Hipper. So Johnson takes the throw. Picked up by Ash Palmer again. Palmer looking at the options moving forward. He's gone with a long ball this time out towards that left wing. Great first touch from Rydell crossing towards Collar. Oh, it's a good block by the goalkeeper. He really sat down for Will Collar. The press from Solihull not quite as aggressive as it is from County. They are happier just to stand off a little bit. It's a foul, surely on Madden. The referee doesn't want to know, though. It's felt Madden's made more of it than it was, and now there's a chance down the right for Solihull as they cut the ball back. What a tackle from Liam Hogan. That's a wonderful challenge from the county captain. He couldn't afford to miss time that one. Nice Hogan. Tackle. That's a great ball by Hogan down the inside right channel. He's found quickly and cuts it back towards the far side of the box. It reaches Rydell. Oh, he's got too far away. Blistering effort from Ryan Rydell on his left foot. Players lasting 90 minutes. Surely Andy Cannon is up there as one that, that may well be looked at in the second half, dependent on, on the scoreline at the time. Hogan misses his tackle. Osborne brings the ball away and he's picked out the run of Newton. And this could be a chance. For the visitors, what a save by Hinchliffe. <laughs> Blocked it with his legs. The counter-attack from Solihull Moors. Best chance so far. Andy Dallas with 20 goals this season. Denied, but here they come again with Sabara from the right. This time he's shot off target. And County have the goal kick. Counter-attack, Neil Ardley, I think. Uh, probably feel a bit smug down there in the uh, technical area. This is the first time the side have had a shot in the game. And here they come again, down the right with Dallas, and Hogan's not going to catch him. And this time it's fired into the side netting. Well, County unsettled now by uh, this uh, reorganisation, if you like, this revitalisation that Neil Ardley has got about his team. Somebody was asking me before the game how big a part the fans can play in the run-in. Absolutely colossal, particularly here at Edgeley Park. It's Crowsdale, good run from Rydell, but then he slips. Crowsdale didn't use him anyway. It's Paddy Madden who takes over. He's going to go for goal here. Deflects off the defender oh. and then Collar just tried to flick it goalwards. But James Clark just did enough to put him off. The initial shot from the edge of the box. Uh, Ryan Boot and goal. Back four of James Clark, Callum Howe, Alex Goodjet and Harry Boys. A diamond in midfield. Jamie Osborne at the base. Ryan Barnett and Callum Maycock either side of him. With uh, Joe Sabara in the hole behind Andy Dallas and Danny Newton. Here come County again. Inside left. It's a chance for Quigley. It's saved by the goalkeeper. Comes out to Madden, who miscontrols it in this uh, second half. And as Ben Hinchliffe kept County in it midway through the first half, Ryan Boot has uh, kept the score sheet blank early in the second. Cannon, collar. But encouragement for County here. Whatever Dave Challen has said at the break. Certainly got them fired up, and they're here again with Quigley finding Madden, who goes down just inside the box. Referee has a long, hard look at it. And then there's another chance here for yes. County to get a penalty. And they've got it this time as Ryan Rydell's brought down. Well, he wasn't going to give the Paddy Madden one. He had no option but to give the Ryan Rydell one. And County have got a spot kick in the third minute of this second half. What a chance this is for County to take the lead. The whistle goes. Paddy Madden steps up. Right-footed. And the goalkeeper diving to his left makes the save. There was such a delay in the taking of the spot kick. It wasn't a great penalty by any stretch. But Paddy Madden, I don't think, was helped by that huge delay. No. I mean, we talk about Solihull doing what... Solihull would, would do, were doing what any team would do there. They were delaying things, they were moaning to the referee. It's the referee that's, that's delayed it the most. He's talking to everyone. He's Solihull straight up with the end, John. I'll let you take over. Chance here for a shot from distance. It's on target as well from Sabara. It's saved by Hinchliffe, it was a tame effort in the end. Collar, Palmer again, deep in his own half. Johnson, Rydell. That's a great diagonal. 
A little cushioned header from Quigley. Brings Minihan into the game. Minihan, great feet. Works it out to the right for Collar to cross. The keeper punches it clear. Had time to pick out a blue shirt there, Collar. Be disappointed that he was so close to the goalkeeper. He's got another chance now on his left. This time, Alex Goodger heads it clear. Again, though, Collar with time, and he's just fizzed across. But it's ultimately straight to Ryan Boot. Oh! Oh, now. Terrible clash in the middle of the park here. And how does the referee view this one, Sam? It's going to be a booking. It's one of those where the referee's reached instantly for the yellow card, but he's gone straight through Liam Hogan. Hogan's been uh, in the wars today. What you would say in defence of Andy Dallas is, I think you can say he slipped as he, as he ran in. He, he, he did lose his footing slightly, and that's maybe where the referee's taking a lenient view. A flashpoint there. Again, it's it, the unfortunate thing in the overall context of the game, though, Sam, is it's taken some of the sting out of County's attack, hasn't it? Yeah, and, and it is a worry if Hogan's not, not right. You, you don't want him to carry on. Oh, Quigley, that's brilliant. Lays it off to Madden. Madden to Collar. Took the shot first time and was caught very, very late there. The referee's given County a free kick. It's another nasty challenge. I mean, they're complaining about it, Solly Holmores, but they can't. Former Stoke City trainee. But he'll be tested here, the 27-year-old, by the left foot of Ryan Rydell, who's oh, curled it just wide of the upright. Rydell takes, it's Palmer at the far post, it's right across the face of goal, it's helped on by Collar, then Hogan, but nobody can apply the finish, Hogan's there again, takes a wild swing and it comes out to Johnson, his wild swing was blocked by Callum Howe, and oh. now the counter-attack's on for Solihull Moors, the referee has played a good advantage for them, as Newton comes forward, great tackle by Collar to win it back, not once, twice, three times a collar. <laughs> wow. That's sometimes when the crowd's flat, Sam, something like that can give them a lift. Crankshaw offering the short corner, but really only ever going to be a decoy. Ball's whipped in now, but Huddling, of course, able to defend it, but it comes out to Madden, who's leaving for Crankshaw, and then scooped wide by the right boot of the defender, Goodger. I feel sorry for John, there's nobody to throw it to, don't throw it. <laughs> so Kelty doing a, another throw. Yeah, doing a good job Solihull so far, of standing up to, to this late pressure. You just wonder whether there can be one chance to come. Johnson, good feet on the left wing, finding Hippolyte, who's made a difference since coming on. The volleyed cross now from Rydell, the header from oh, Collar's on target, close. saved by Boot. It was at a nice height for the goalkeeper. Palmer again. Johnson. 90 seconds remaining, plus stoppage time. It's a good run, this from Hippolyte, but it's not the best of balls. The defender gets there ahead of him. Callum Howe smashes it away. That's a very important header from Ash Palmer. Had to win that, couldn't afford to miss. Jennings. Does well. Works it out to Crankshaw on the right. Crankshaw's cross, the flick from Crowsdale, the save from Boot once again. That was a more difficult chance than the Will Collar opportunity. County throwing everything at it here. Good player to bring on at this stage to see you through stoppage time. They don't really need the attacking intent of Sabara's. Minihan! Yes! Oh, out for Madden! Madden left footed has scored for County! And there is ecstasy down on the bench. It came from nothing. Down the left-hand side. Hippolyte cut the ball back into the penalty area. And Paddy Madden got his left boot to it before anybody else could react. And Madden, who missed that penalty early in the second half, may just have snatched a massive three points for Stockport County here this afternoon. That is fantastic for Stockport County. The seven-point lead is restored at the top of the table. County lead, one nil. Had the ball taken off him by Sabara there, and he's very unhappy. The corner's taken. The goalkeeper's got his head to it, but he glances it away towards the left wing. It's recycled, and Hudlin's there. It's a by Mitzai Ben Hinchliff. Hudlin with the header, point-blank range, right in front of goal. Well, he might be taller than Peter Crouch, but he couldn't beat Ben Hinchliff. There it is, County have won today by a goal to nil. 
Paddy Madden, the man who scored the only goal last time these two sides met, has done it again with a late scruffy strike. What a massive three points that could prove to be for Stockport County this season. Wrexham may have hammered Altrincham today, but it doesn't matter because County have got the three points they needed. And it's Wrexham who've been scoring late goals all season. Well, it's County now who've popped up with an injury time winner through Paddy Madden to secure the three points this afternoon. And it's as you were at the start of play, but it's another game closer to that National League title. 